Hey guys, if you bought my dashboard or you have an extra Volcor screen, you can display the map in game. Unfortunately, it doesn't give you directions uh, or show you the path of travel. It just shows you your position on the map. Additionally, if the map is brand new, it takes a little while for SimHub to be updated, which means that the map looks blank. But we have a trick for that. If we look in game, we see that there's a phone and or we have the navigation down here. Now, it has to be visible on your screen, but if these things are visible, we can take that and we can put it right here. Open up your Sim Hub and go to Dash Studio. Find My Center Dashboard or any other dashboard you want to modify and go here, More, Edit Dashboard, and it will show up as this. Now, you can now check out all the attributes that we have, but Somewhere towards the end, I already have the map, and that is the static map, as you can see. If you right-click on it, and you duplicate it, we will get a brand new one that's identical with the static map. We scroll all the way down, we find the ETS map too, and we hit delete. It is now gone. On the left side, where we have the toolbox, we see this cool little thing called screen capture. We click on that, and here it is up in the corner, but it's really, really small, so if you click on the corner of it, you can drag it down and make it as big as my screen or bigger. Move it in the center and don't forget to find it all the way at the top. Any new element will go all the way at the top and I would move it all the way at the bottom and let it go. From the dashboards, we now need to navigate to settings and all the way down at the bottom. Edit area on the screen for the screen capture area. When you click on it, because I have a triple screen, a window will come up, which I've placed right there. By the way, one of these is the accept and one of them is the cancel button. I'm not sure why it's not showing, but I'm assuming this is the accept. Now, let's move it by clicking on the camera and moving it around until you're comfortable and accept. And guess what? There it is. Now we have full functioning navigation. So with that said, don't forget to save control S. All right, so there it is. There's the old map. That wasn't making us very happy because, well, it didn't look like this map. So, because I already have my buttons mapped, check this out. Oh, man, look at that. We now have a fully functioning map and more. Enjoy, boys.